called B-Side Label. Um, really, really cute. No, you're knocking over the stand. Um, really, really good uh, and awesome people. Um, so it's a community of uh, artists that um, draw together and friends and they make stickers. And all the stickers are um, three year guarantee. Um, they are UV protected, they are um, water resistant and whatnot. Um, very impressive um, group of people. It's kind of cool seeing them because um, they remind me of my friends that I meet up with every week to draw with. And they were just friends. They got together and decided to do this vision and they have exclusive stickers and um, they've made really great, uh, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for, marketing decisions because they actually do have a small little pop-up shop in Harajuku. They have more than a few, I believe, um, and they just started their online store, and they're trying to go worldwide wide here soon, and um, they have a store at the airport and everything, so they're doing really well for themselves. I really like supporting them, and talking to every every different one was really nice. Um, they are all really, really good people. Um, let me try to get this out. Oh no, where's the sticker? So I got multiple stickers, and I'm sure they're in different packaging everywhere, and I know I already used one of my luggage bags, so I can't really show you with this full of clothes and sorry about that <laughs> um, so it's hard to take it out but anyways um, this is one of them this is really cute little geisha girl I just think she's really really cute um, I'm not really sure I'm gonna put her yet I just really like the artwork um, I collect artwork um, I'm a really nice artist so that's what I do um, okay this is a really cute postcard I'm definitely keeping this um, so I guess it says the fifth anniversary B-side label Harajuku, so I guess it's their anniversary little um, postcard. I guess they're having an event. Um, I remember them talking about it. Unfortunately, we were not going to be in town for the next one, which was the uh, 528, which is around, right around for birthday, but <laughs> unfortunately we missed that. Um, this is another B-side label um, promotional uh, postcard. Oh, they also have shop lists in the back. They have a Shimo Kiyosawa, Harajuku, Kochijoji, um, Osaka, Kyoto, and Nagoya. Um, so really awesome. They have um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and their own website. So you can check them out. I really enjoyed talking to them. They have stickers from like all different types. What I mean by that is they have like even a deal with Capcom where they're doing like chibis of Capcom. I saw them on... <clears throat> legs are falling asleep. Apologize. Um, they have chibis of Conan, um, Unico, uh, they had some Sailor Moon inspired ones. Um, again, they're just doing really well for themselves and really awesome business, so check them out. Um, <laughs> so another store that my husband and I really, really enjoyed was a store called The Loft. And they have um, a few locations, but the one we went to is also in Shibuya. Um, they... Uh, Love this store. Um, the store has multiple levels. Some of them are home goods. Some of them are stationary stuff. Um, our favorite one was the independent independent art room where they had a display of um, artists, and they have kind of like a glass cubicle for each artist. Um, it's in a video in the vlog. <laughs> Don't remember what day, but. Uh, Anyways, I'm pretty sure I'll say something vlog Shibuya or some, something like that. Anyways, um, I'll try to put the video here if I can. <laughs> um, and anyways, so the loft was really great. Um, we like to check them out. They had like a glass cubicle for every artist, like I said before, some of them had stickers, products, t-shirts, cell phone cases, things like that. It was a good opportunity to check out their work and they also had a promotional tag for all the artists too. They weren't physically there, it was just a display, but um, we got to check them out later, so that was really cool too. Um, they also had like featured artists, so uh, artists was there on display, physically there drawing, and you got to talk to her and watch her process, drawing process. Um, she was actually painting at the time, I think. She already finished her drawing part. Anyways, very talented um, artists they had featured there, so that was pretty awesome. Um, they also had a pop-up shop too, so one thing I definitely learned about Japan is they have pop-up shops everywhere. and. One of those things about pop-up shops they're glamorous and beautiful but they're only for a certain amount of time and that's it they don't do it again so if you missed out you missed out which really really sucks <laughs> that's happened to me more than a few times um right before i went to japan 
I saw a pop-up shop for Sailor Moon clothing and I got really excited and by the time I got to Japan the pop-up shop was gone so that sucks <laughs> um, anyways back to the loft so this is some of the artists um, that I liked um, what was her name illustration Sayori Kabayashi um, so I really liked her artwork I can tell it was all originally done in watercolor this is a sticker um, she drew really, really cute, like, chibi cats, too, and whatnot. I just love her style. It's very friendly and welcoming. I just adore it. Um, this is another artwork I, um, I, uh, per picture, picked up. Can I talk? I'm so sorry. This is, um, Yura Imai. Um, this is the promotional artist for Angelic Pretty, I believe. Um, aw, there we go. There we go. Very pretty. Um, so this is a postcard. Um, I decided to go with a postcard because actually this artist didn't have a lot available on the display. They had a cell phone case, a few stickers, a t-shirt, and I believe that was it. But um, a lot of postcard options. And the postcards were actually not badly priced. It was only 200 yen, which was only $2. So um, they had a sticker. I really liked the bear one. Um, but it was like $4 for the sticker. And I'm like, and the sticker was actually... Uh, cropped funny in my opinion and I just really like this print. Um, just on my husband said it looks like me so that's cool so I'm going to add my inspiration wall in my room of artists that I really really like so I'll add that. And although that's all I got from the art shop part from the independent artists in the loft there was a very there's a lot of talented people Hello. in there so I wish I could have done more um, purchase more more supporting but that's you know, we ran out of money that day too, so I was trying really hard to budget and do a little bit of everything while I was going around, so I apologize very much about that. <clears throat> okay. Alright, on to the next thing. This is also from Kitty Land. Um, this was on the second floor or something like that. Anyways, again about the pop-up sheet, um, the whole pop-up thing that I was talking about for. They like have again all over Japan, it's a thing they do. Um, good and bad, you know, because it's specialty items, they're unique and they're different, but it's only a certain amount of time they're doing them, so that's boo <laughs> So, uh, some of you may not know, but I'm actually a huge Shin-chan fan, I know it sounds really weird, um, it's an older anime to America, um, only because they stopped translating it, stopped doing more episodes in English, harder to find product for, um, especially since a lot of, like, Hollywood video and all that places stopped doing that, they no longer exist, so, um, I don't even think they translate anymore. I, I don't think so. Anyways, but Shin Chan's still really popular in Japan. Um, and I really like Shin Chan. He's hilarious. And um, I talked to my Airbnb host about him, and she thinks he's a riot, and that's awesome. So, anyways, um, Pop Up Shop was for Shin Chan. Um, it was a pastel collection series. Um, it was really stupid cute. Um, all the colors for it were amazing. Um, I'll try to put the video here from that. Um, and it was called Bistro Oramachi. And I just wanted everything. Like everything. I wanted the towel. I wanted the plushie. I wanted the stickers. I wanted everything. But um, that was stupid expensive for everything. And I won't say that all things in Kitty Land are um, over, overpriced, because it's not true. But it could be because it's a specialty series, why it was priced the way it was. Again, running out of money. This was actually towards the end of the trip we went to Kitty Land. If I ever go to Japan again, which I will, um, Kitty Land will be on the earlier days so I can splurge more on there. Um, anyways, so I believe... Price isn't on here. I believe this was like two, 300 yen, 400 yen for these stickers. I just love them. Uh, <laughs> things like these that, are, these that are like so specialty item and you won't be able to ever find it again, I get weird about and I really hope I'll be able to use these stickers in a place where they won't be wasted. <laughs> I know, that sounds terrible. I, what's the point of stickers? I'm not going to use them. Sounds dumb. I know, I know. Oh, uh, remember I talked about B-Side Label before. This is a different B-Side Label store. This is a smaller store. This is before I knew about anything about them. Um, but I got this really cute Unico sticker from them. Um, Unico is a really old anime about this little unicorn. Super cute. If you get a chance to try it out, I just... Or look into it, I mean. Really, really cute. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, this one makes me laugh. Go back down. Okay, so I got another sticker. Um, this was from Nakano Broadway. Um, my husband and I found this kind of, it's so funny because on the outside it looked like a smutty smut store. What I mean by that is um, girls in like 
rope tie bathing suit outfit things like bondage <laughs> um, we also have the store but aside from that they had really cute pastel stuff too in there like stickers and artists and notebooks that weren't like overly sexy they were just really cute and we went in the store <laughs> that was really cute and everyone worked there was very nice and I got this sticker um oh boy I'm so sorry about the awful glare um, but she's a really cute girl. Um, she has a school uniform on. She has an ombre hair. It's pink to purple. And she has a strawberry milk in her mouth. And um, the artist's name is not in English for me to read it. Um, I will try my best to find that for you guys. Um, but this was 200 yen. It was only $2. A big sticker, too. So I just thought it was really cool to support this artist. You can tell this person clearly made it themselves. It's on the contact paper you can get at the store. So gotta support the artists. Um, so give me one more second. I have to clean up and then restart again with more bags of stuff. <laughs> Alright, so on the last day of Japan, again this stuff is not in order. Apologize for the bouncing around of days and conversation. So sorry. Um, it's just kind of like how it, how it came out of my suitcase. <laughs> so this store we checked out was called, apologize the briefly bag, it's called Tokyo Hands. Um, I'll try to put link in information right here. Um, and uh, this store was actually suggested to me as a art supply store, a craft store. And what I didn't know was it's a multiple layer floor um, mall kind of thing called Tokyo Hands. And they support other businesses, sell other product there. And each floor is dedicated to something different. I believe the bottom floor had like bicycles and yourself uh, fix it your home kind of supplies they had a miniature floor they had a hobby floor they had a um, art supply store they had pop-up shop store oh my god that store was amazing if you get a chance to check out Tokyo hands and you are a crafter you are a DIYer you like pop-up shops um, you like anime you like uh, art supplies craft stuff go there. <laughs> um, my husband kept saying, and he's probably, he probably said in the video too, where Tokyo Hands alone, just the one floor for crafting stuff, puts our crafting stores in America to shame. Uh, the ones here in San Diego that are really stand up or people know about is Michael's, Dick Blick, um, Aaron Brothers, Joann's, and it puts all of them to shame, like combined. Anyways, Tokyo Hands is amazing if you get a chance to check it out. Um, so my purchase from them was something that I was just floored about. So something that's hard to find here in America lately is Copic markers. And I use Copic markers all the time with my business. Um, I like using them. I've always been a Copics girl. I've been collecting them since I was little. Um, but Copics have been rising in price like nobody's business. It's harder to find singles, at least lots of color variations. And um, a lot of places local in San Diego are having a hard time keeping in stock. So, <laughs> this store had Copics in every style you could think of, in every color of the rainbow. Packs, singles, um, build your own packs, <laughs> starter kits. It was amazing. Um, my favorite pen is the Sao Xiao version. Um, it has it has a brush on the one side, which is my favorite nib. Um, and then it has the marker sketch side on the other side. Um, this one's my favorite because, again, this side, um, I don't really use the nubby tiny one that often on um, their pen styles. I just like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. I like the brush tip. I like feathering the stroke. My favorite. So I got all these. <laughs> and I know um, people who are here at local and are like, oh my god, those were so expensive. True, if I was shopping here. <laughs> um, I think Lately, the price is seven, eight dollars each for a pen. When I first started collecting, Copics were three dollars and fifty cents for a pen. Um, these were two hundred. I want to say two hundred and fifty yen, which, with the prices um, converted from America to Japan, because the yen, the dollar being more, worth being worth more in Japan, um, these were almost two dollars each. Yeah. So this was not expensive at all. Um, I was really excited to get these colors because I like pastels, I really like pinks, um, and pinks are hard to find actually in singles, at least for me. But I love these so much, I'm really excited to start using them. The colors I got is, let's see, I can tell ya, light pink, um, sugared almond pink, 
green jade um, eggshell which is my favorite skin color I use this for my own um, skin tone when I use Copic versions I guess it's kind of close to my face um, uh, pink rose um, I got another eggshell because again I use that color all the time pale pink and the last one I got was milky white um, I use milky white a lot for like my average skin tone if I don't know how to arrange someone's face between more red or more yellow or more orange um, that's the color I go to for Copic colors um, but anyways Tokyo hands great Door. All right, on to the next uh, lump of stuff. So this stuff. Is, oh, that's not okay. Uh, <laughs> I got this bag. It's a, um, another Twin Stars thing that I collected. This is from the Hundred Yen store. Um, only a dollar. It's a lunch baggie. is lined with that little metally stuff to keep your food cold or hot. Um, and you can put a little ice pack in there, or whatever you put in there will keep retain its heat or or coldness a little bit longer. So I got that, really really cute. Um, pass that over there, and then I got the little um, accessory that goes with it, with sep sold separately. It was only 100 yen. It's a bottle, snuggy, um, also lined, and it's really cute. I love it. So I'm excited to use that for lunch and snack time for me, because I like packing my own lunch and I like snacks to carry with me when I go on adventures so yeah <laughs> um, okay this is not really a haul thing but whatever so in my videos I talked about pastry um, store in um, Musashiseki um, or Narima um, where we were staying for our Airbnb for most of the time and we love this Airbnb I mean this uh, we love my Airbnb too, but um, I love this pastry shop. I have not been able to translate this yet, so I have no idea what this says. Um, but it's this store right here. I don't know if it's independent or chain, but um, every day they had fresh everything. Everything there was really tasty. Um, it was a very small shop, so I felt weird recording on the inside of it, but they had everything. They had chocolate, savory, um, sweets. <laughs> it was just all really good, all really fresh. Everyone there was very nice. Um, one of my husband and I's favorite bread was this cheese, ham, like onion bread. I know it sounds really weird, but it was all marbled together and like caramelized on the top. It was so good. Anyways, had to make a shout out to them even if I don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, anyways, moving on to the next thing. Um, I also collected I know it sounds dumb, but whatever. <laughs> I also got socks. Um, I really like cute socks. Um, hard to find cute socks, at least in colors I like. At least where I am. Um, so I got these socks from WeGo, and um, that's my new favorite store in Japan. Well, not like I've been there many times, but I love WeGo. It was a great store. They had a sale for Golden Week when I was there, and it was two for 500 yen. So I got these. Um, this one has the little sheer hearts in the top. Really, really cute. And then this one has a silhouette cut out of a heart. So this is Castel Pink and this is white. Um, they're normally 350 yen, so you got like um, two dollars off, 200 yen off, just for getting two of them. So really, really cute. Um, I believe I got more. No, I did. They're in my dirty laundry. So they look the same as these, except they they don't have the the sheer silhouette they just have frill on top I got both in pink and white options and I actually wore them when I was in Japan so that's why they're in my dirty laundry stuff <laughs> um, really really cute socks I did get a chance to check out because I am a Lolita um, fashion appreciator I don't really know what else to call myself so I don't call myself a Lolita because I don't wear a brand um, some Lolitas don't like that that's okay um, I just like appreciate the culture and I like the fashion and a lot of my fashion is inspired by Lolita um, but I did check out the body line store body line is known to carry more bigger sizes for people who have boobs or butts but anyways uh, <laughs> They did have a small section for someone my size, but um, the designs they had on display wasn't really my style, so I didn't actually purchase um, from them in the clothing area. I did find cute socks though. Um, this is a little bag that it came in, body line, yada yada. And I got these socks. Um, well, they're stuck, but I don't want to do that right now. But they're long socks. It has lipstick, um, hearts, and a perfume bottle of little birds. and 
Oh, my birds. That's a butterfly. <laughs> um, but I thought these were really cute. These were only 300 yen, so wasn't badly priced. Um, I do like socks. I know it's a weird thing, but I just, I like socks. What can I say? <laughs> On to the next thing. I was just talking about how I like WeGo so much. In this big bag of WeGo, yes, I got this bag. Um, so, aside from the Ida bags that I really enjoy from that store, um, I did not purchase an Ida bag only because, and they have a lot of color options, because um, I would like to try to make my own here soon and do a DIY and show you guys how I make my version of the Ida bag. Um, not that I don't like them, no hate there at all, I just wanted to try making my own. I know it sounds dumb, but I'm a DIYer, it's what I do. Anyways, um, but I did mention, like I said before, when I made other bags in the past, particularly my um, uh, Luna-inspired uh, moon cat bag, um, that it's hard to find leather um, that is in pastel colors. So that has been a struggle in the past. And speaking of, I found this bag that I'm going to show you. And it's really cute. Pastel colors. It's a patchwork bag. Really, really cute. It's built like a schoolgirl bag. Um, it's adorable. It was 1,990 yen. Um, and when I purchased it, this was at the WeGo store in Shimo Kiyazawa. They had a Golden Week sale, so it was 5% off. And um, they also gave me um, a passport discount, which I thought was really cool. So it was another 10% off. So I got like 15% off of this bag. Not bad at all, I believe. That particular location might have been a tax-free one. Don't quote me on that. But um, really, really cute. Um, this is just love and yes, just yes. Yes, 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 yes. Adorable. Um, I did find out later that not all the WeGo stores were the same because I went to that store actually initially hoped to buy my friend her Ida bag and my friend Kelsey and um, the one in Shimo Kitazawa, the first one I went to, only had black and white options which is not the color she wanted and when I went to the other WeGo store, another, not the only one, there's a lot of them, um, one actually on Takashita Street, Takashita Street um, in Harajuku, um, they did not have the same deal, they did not have the percent off, they didn't have the passport discount, so don't know what the deal is with that, but that's okay. At least, uh, at least I got this. Yeah, yeah. Really, really cute though. I'm excited. Um, <laughs> I just love that bag. And it's funny because my husband actually picked it out for me first. So, so she just shows how much she knows me. Anyways, off to the next stuff. There's so much stuff still. Okay. The next thing I want to show you I'm really, really excited about. Um, I got this. Yes, this is what you think it is. It's actually the um, you know Gigi mug from Kiki's Delivery Service. One actually fashioned from the movie. Um, well, inspired by the movie. So here's the mug. Really, really cute. Um, I actually saw this mug a few times in Japan, but this one was the best price one. It was only 1,400 yen, which is about $14. So not bad at all, especially if you go online and try to find this in America. It's like $20, $27. So, this was a good buy. Uh, oh, and bot I actually need the bottom. I really like the bottom. That sounds dumb. But I love the bottom. Cute. Love. Love, love, love. And the question is, do I actually use it as a mug and drink out of it and possibly get scratches on it or ruin the really cute design? Or use it as like a planner pot or something? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know yet. Um, anyways, but that was a really good buy too. <laughs> Oh, this bag, which has stuff in the bag. Um, this was another item from um, the 100 yen store. This one was uh, the 100 yen store in Shibuya. Yeah. And I got this. <laughs> I know it may look really childish because it is a child hat. And I actually have a small head, so this fits me. Um, so I got this in Nakano Broadway in a vintage toy shop. They had a bunch of other Sailor Moon stuff too, specifically a really awesome like arcade machine or um, this is really cute though. So I got this and don't remember how much it was right now, but I just adore this hat. It's actually, not, believe it or not, it's not the last one. It's the last two. My head's not as small as, as it could have been. Anyways, yes, adorable purchase. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. <laughs> My English is so good right now. Yeah. Um, 
So the only thing I got from the loft, um, it's a little wrinkly, um, but uh, I'll, I'll use an iron to flatten it out. It's a good trick if your paper is all wrinkly. Um, this is really awesome textured paper I got from there. I got a couple different sheets. Oh, it's coming up pretty good. Green, uh, pink, lighter pink, and white. Um, it's a textured paper and it has kind of a watercolor feel. I just really like the way it feels. I know it sounds weird, but they're only 20, 20 yen each, so. I thought I would try it, draw on it, and do something special. Who knows? So I got that. Put that aside. <sighs> oh. Um, one of the things I got from the airport um, was this really, really cute Sailor Moon um, keychain. I actually got this in the International Haneda Airport. Um, it was really cute. It was only 600 yen. Not bad. Um, okay, so. Um, if you are a beauty guru, you probably know what this is. I saw this online multiple times. This is a rose budding uh, beauty whip soap. And yes, it's supposed to look like that. So when you press the top down, it's supposed to, hello, it's supposed to turn into a rose. I haven't tried it yet, mostly because when I was in Japan, I didn't want to ruin like its seal. And then, um, you know, come all the way back to home and find it broken in my bag. So that's why I left it on. Maybe I'll do a video on that later. Who knows? <laughs> um, so this is my first scotch pot I'll show you. Not my first one I got. This is actually the last one I got. Um, in the airport, I need a, um, international airport. They actually have a really cool like hangout area. And we did have a huge layover time between checking out our last Airbnb and when we actually had been the flight. So I got this. Um, but anyway, so we were hanging out and they had some gosh upon there. And we like our gosh upon. Right, Mama? Right. Um, I got this character her name is Ciro Tan. He's a really cute little otter seal dude. Um, he's super cute. There's a whole store dedicated to him, which is really funny because I didn't see him at all in Japan, like my trip at all, until that day, my last day on the airport. But I got him. He was really cute. He was like 300 yen. Um, I liked all the designs <laughs> available, so whatever I got, I would have been happy with. Um, I see you. I do. Another thing I got was, um, so my cat is an orange tabby, as you just saw, um, although this is not necessarily orange, but whatever. So I got this little, like, face rag thingy, um, from the Harnian store in, uh, Musashiseki Station, and it has a little kitty, like an orange-yellow kitty cat, and then it has a heart bloom with a moon, which is very appropriate for me, so I was clearly thinking of my cat when I was gone, and got this. Yes. I'm talking about you. I'm sorry, she's gonna be like meowing the entire video, but she's been super upset with me. I know. Um, while we've been gone. Um, another thing I got was the fourth one's missing is hair ties from Daiso. Um, again, a hundred yen store. Um, these are not bracelets and they're not keychains, they're hair uh, scrunchies. Um, it's funny as in a previous video a long time ago, I did a Doki Doki crate video and one was included as an, an extra gift instead of the box, and I thought it was the scrunchy 80s keychain things, like ones you get from the pools, so you lose your key, um, we go to a water park and things like that. But these are actually hair accessories. Um, they're really popular right now. They're supposed to like not crinkle your hair and not leave dents in it, and they work. Um, so this was really cool. So I got a three pack of those from Daiso. Um, this is not necessarily a haul thing I bought, but I thought this was really cool to include. So um, our first Airbnb we stayed in Narima. Um, Masashi Zeki Station, which I keep talking about, um, and our Airbnb host was so sweet. Her name is Akiko. Miss um, Akiko was very kind to us. Um, we gained a friend through this trip just by meeting her and staying in her um, studio apartment, and um, it was a great experience. And when she invited us over to her house, um, she gave us a gift. Um, my husband got a puzzle, and I got um, something she made, which is a candy pouch. So this is made out of vintage, um, I think she said silk fabric, um, has the gold paint on or whatever. She said, don't put it in the washing machine, hand wash only, which I totally understand. Um, she made it, she said it's a candy bag. So I just love this. This is really cool. It was a very nice gift. Um, so anyways, I wanted to include that because that was really neat. Makes my heart warm. <laughs> um, so another thing that's kind of random, but whatever, is in the, one of the last days, um, I got this candy. My husband got it for me, um, from 
pretty cure, that's what it is. So it's a Magical Girl series, really well known in Japan. It's been going on forever. Um, I surprisingly have not actually seen a whole lot of it, the anime. I know it's multiple series, each series has their own girls. Um, one of the most recent ones has pink hair like me, and my husband's like, I hope you look like her, so I'm definitely gonna look into it. But um, he got me a little like candy jelly pack, so it came with these little jelly molds and the candy was in there. Um, I kept this as I thought maybe I could use this, reuse the jelly mold again for something else, like chocolate or something. So it's cute, so why not? Um, so I got that and then it came with a collector card, a um, little iridescent card, super cute, so I wanted to include that because that's a nice little thing there. Um, so it's my first food item I'm going to tell you guys about. So uh, when we saw our, our host, Miss Akiko, we were talking about American versus Japanese foods and traditions and whatnot, and we were very open about sharing everything. She was very awesome to talk to. Um, she was asking my favorite sweets because she likes sweets and I like sweets. Um, so <laughs> she's, I told her that one of my favorite sweets is actually the Meiji brand uh, from Japan at my Japanese market store so that I can find locally. And she's like, that candy's icky. You have to try this one. So I tried this one. She told me to buy it. It's open, so there's only one left. It's in my hand. Um, <laughs> And she said this one's better, so she tried this one. Um, I actually really like it. Um, I'm not sure if this was meant to be the flavor, but this is cherry, sorry, cherry blossom or sakura flavor um, with the leaf, um, and it has the red bean in the middle. Um, it doesn't really taste like that. Um, this is what the candy looked like. It looks, it looks very phallic. I know that sounds bad in my brain, but it does, okay? It's not my fault. But um, this candy is very interesting. It has a strawberry top with a chocolate bottom, and then the inside is kind of gummy. And it's not very chocolatey though, but it's a good candy. I like it. I don't know if I can find it here in America, but we'll see. Anyways, on to the next thing. So this is my favorite thing <laughs> I've been eating food-wise, snack-wise in Japan. Um, there are these chips, and it has Conan in the corner there. Um, I think. Miss Akiko told me that if you collect it and collect points, you get prizes. I've had so many bags of these, it's not even funny. Not because of the Conan thing, it's because it's a cherry blossom flavored uh, chip. Um, this is so good, it's not even funny. I think I've had like six bags. It's the only one I held on to to come back to Japan from Japan with. I'm actually surprised I didn't eat it the last day before I came here. But yes, anyways, my favorite chips, I'm hoping I can find it here. So tasty. Um, I guess since I'm going over food, I should probably whoa, dropping everything. Go through, go through other food. Okay, caught some food. Yeah, I'll show you. So this one's Royal Milk Tea. I really like Royal Milk Tea. I got these little instant packs. I got two bags of those. Um, I also got this green tea. I got more warped in the baggage claim. Um, anyways, these are like uh, matcha, uh, green tea, cold um, mixing sticks. I really like these. Um, they do have my local Japanese store. They just don't always have them in stock and want to try their brands. So I got these too. Um, our host gave us these. Um, we came home, came back to our Airbnb from a long day running around and she left us a bag of goodies. And on Boys Day, children, Boys Day of the Koi Fish, um, she put a bag of a bunch of goodies. These are what's left over. Um, these are little pig, um, little, um, um, noodle cups. Um, these are really good. Um, my husband's had two of them. I haven't tried it yet, but he says they're really awesome, so we're gonna, I'm excited to eat these soon. Um, funny thing is I'm actually gluten-free, but when I go to other countries, I never feel sick with the wheat there. Don't know why. Um, here in America, we just put fattening things in it. That's at least as far as I know. Um, I got this one. It's a cherry blossom little cake noodle, cup of noodle, so I'm excited to try that one. This is only like 60 yen, so under a dollar for that. Um, so this is something that my, our Miss Akiko gave us um, the night she cooked for us. It was a dessert. Um, this is agar agar. In the bag it doesn't look like very much, but when you cook it and boil it and let it sit in the fridge for a while, it kind of fluffs up kind of like gelatin but it's actually a plant so um, there's like no calories in it it's actually not too bad for you this is what the calories are and um, she served it with this syrup and she said it's a brown sugar syrup um, and normally you serve it with um, 
uh, soy powder on the top, but since I'm allergic to soybean, we didn't use that on my dish. But um, this is a really traditional dish they have there, so it's very tasty, and uh, she told us to get this while we were there so we can bring it back home and try it when we get home again, just because we can have the experience again. Um, that was a lot of fun. And then she also gives with us these two, which are making your own candies. Um, we have not tried them yet. I'm actually really excited. It comes with a mold and they um, like sprinkles and whatnot. So I'm going to try that soon. Um, the other food item I'm going to show you, and we had a lot of food. This is just all I made it back home with us, but um, is Kit Kat bars in different flavors. Um, I've heard of this one. Um, I am a huge melon flavor fan. So I was waiting for this. Um, it's Kit Kat Melon um, Hokkaido Melon Flavor. Um, it was so good. There's only like one left. Yeah. <laughs> um, so good. My favorite. The weird part is I didn't find it anywhere except at the airport, which I thought was really strange. It was only there, not anywhere else. Um, maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough, but um, really, really tasty if you get a chance to try them. Really good. Um, the other one I got to try was the Sakura uh, Matcha Flavor. Really, really good. Love this one. Um, I have struggled with this though because I kept finding the Kit Kat um, Cherry Blossom and Miso Powder um, option, but not the one with matcha. So this one was hard to find. Only found it at the airport too. Really, really cool. If you do want to get these, um, they do have them at the Haneda Airport. Um, I got these ones at the Japan Hello Kitty store. They are only like 120 yen, so a dollar or something each. Um, but I know what the bigger um, market stores in the airport too, they sell like a big box pack too. Hello, there we go. She's very sassy. Anyways, um, I think I'm on my last little things here. Um, so let me show you what else. Oh no, no I'm not. Um, so as a lot of you know from my channel alone that I'm a big Sailor Moon fan. So I did find a lot of Sailor Moon stuff like here and there everywhere in Japan. Sailor Moon is still really popular. But um, <laughs> a lot of it's pretty expensive. Um, specifically at Mandrake or Mandrake um, store that everyone keeps talking about. Very, very cool otaku, otaku anime loving fans should go visit. Um, they had a huge Sailor Moon Magical Girl section, but very, very expensive. Even gift bags, like old gift bags from the 80s are like $20 there. I'm like, geez, yeah, it's a gift bag. It's a used old gift bag. So um, good for those fans who have collector stuff and want to resell their stuff and um, get some money for it. They didn't do that there, but it was just out of my price range. So Anyways, so um, the things I was able to get were things like Gashapon. Gashapon are the quarter, at least here in America, the quarter dispenser candy machine or toys, small toys. Um, Gashapon are very, very popular. Um, people do resell their Gashapon and well worth over the money they originally purchased it for. Um, but anyway, so um, I want to show you the ones I got because they did have a lot of Sailor Moon Gashapon. I was on the Sailor Moon Gashapon hunt. So I was able to find a lot of good things. So I got this wand. It is pretty big. Um, I got this in the Akihabara uh, train station um, Gashapon. And I also got, this is from the same um, machine, this one too. Um, amazing. So I'm really thankful I got these. Um, when I did see these sold separately at Mandrake, um, they were like $12 and that was not the price of the Gashapon so um, I feel very lucky I was able to get these. I've gotten pretty lucky on my Gashapon adventures for for um, dispensing the, uh, the ones I do want. So the other thing I got was this one from the Sailor Moon um, Series 2. It's, these are really well made guys like legit and it has a little magnet at the top right there. Super cute. So <clears throat> Another thing I got that wasn't um, necessarily in uh, like anything I bought, it was a gift to me. My friend Christina, who used to live here in San Diego, I went to high school with, lives in Japan. She's studying there. Um, we visited and hung out with her for a day with her and her friends, and she gifted me these. I guess they came out last year, and she gave them to me. That was really nice of her. These are little folders. 
I just thought these were very nice. So that's something I wanted to share with you guys too. Oh my gosh, we is a lot, so <clears throat> it took me a second. Um, so the first one I want to show you, which is not the Sailor Moon ones continuing, there's a lot, but not yet. So let me show you first. Um, so at the, the Pokemon store, we went to the one, the Super Mega Pokemon store, Pokemon Center in um, Sunshine City. Um, so we went there hoping to see um, if they had any more of the Ditto collection, which my husband and I are a big fan of the cute Ditto Pokemon pastel um, options. They had, we've seen them online, they had plushies, they had things and action figures and adorable. So I was excited to get something from them. They really didn't have anything left when we got there, sadly, from the Easter collection with Pikachu the cute floral crown and the Ditto collection. So. That was sad. But they did have Gashapon still there, the Ditto collection. So these were the two options you could get. They're the two separate little um, tags there. Um, I was hoping to get Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Pikachu, and I guess, um, yeah, yeah, um, Jigglypuff. So I was excited to get those. But I wasn't able to get most of the ones I just said. Um, I think they must have ran out and just kind of stuck the same ones in there over and over again. Um, so the ones I was able to get are, I was able to get Squirtle, which is not in the package. It comes with a little side ditto, Squirtle. I was able to get Pikachu. And I was able to get Pichu. Um, so those were all really cute, just wasn't able to get everything. Um, that's okay. Um, they are really cute though, so I'm glad that I got what I did, so very thankful for that. Um, so one of the first ones I want to show you from the Sailor Moon ones is um, this one. Um, this pack came like this. Um, it is the Sailor Moon Ring Collection. Um, this was actually the first Gashapon I saw um, available in Japan. Um, I just The dispenser I first went to was out, so I was able to find it later, I believe in Harajuku, in a random hole-in-the-wall place. I got this option, very pretty. Um, it is metal, it's very pretty, I just doesn't really fit on normal people, fit. I mean, kind of fit on my nickel, um, my fingers at least. Um, so it will be a display or a charm of some sort, that's okay. I'm fine with that. Really, really cute though. Um, the next thing, this one, I was able to get this gosh upon. Um, this one remember I think this was a Nakano Broadway um, I got three out of the four options yes, yes I, did. I got the zippy bag it is a velvet with um, like transfer on top really cute um, I also got the compact from that one um, this actually wasn't made that well, so this one was kind of eh to me. I, in a picture, it looked a lot better, but um, it is what it is. Um, the other one I got from that set is the bracelet. The bracelet's actually really, really cute. Um, it photographs better than it does look visually. Um, so also really, really pretty. And yeah, um, I wish I would have gotten this one, though. I'm not really a dark, fashion -y person. That's okay. I still really like it though. Very grateful. Um, let's see what else I got. Oh yeah, so this one, um, this set right here, I got this one. That's what this was from. And all the Sailor Moon gosh upon were anywhere from 300 to 500 again, so they're a little pricier than some other ones you might have come across. Most gosh upon are 300 or 200 yen, so some of the Sailor Moon ones are a little more pricier, but they're really well made. Almost all of them are. Um, the other one I got was this one. Um, these ones are really nice too. I wouldn't have mind to get any of them. I actually got this one though right here. Um, it is metal on this one too. It has this kind of um, stained glass window effect to it. Really, really cute. It's actually really cute on um, like a zipper, like pulley. That'd be cute. Um, next one. Sorry, I'm trying to show you guys the tags with it too so you can see where, what they look like. Um, this was the tag for the bigger wands I got. So that's with um, these guys here. Um, these were 500 yen. They were $500, $500, dollars $5 each. Um, it only had four designs. I actually was lucky to get both the Sailor Moon ones, and I actually got Jupiter, which I might either 
I think I'm gonna try to sell because I'm not a huge Sailor Jupiter fan. Um, really, really well made though, like stupid good. <laughs> uh, the understatement of lifetime. E let's see, sorry, I'm having a moment here trying to go through stuff. Next crash upon is this one from the Sailor Moon series. And I got this one right here. I got another the chalice one again. Um, so this one I wouldn't mind to add any of them again. Um, this one's really well made too. This is the charm for that one. Um, this one's straight up metal. Um, the whole thing is casted. Um, very, you can knock someone out. <laughs> Let's just be honest. If someone attacks you, just be like, what pal? And then they'd probably be unconscious or in a coma. Right. Okay. Then what I got of Sailor Moon is this one. These ones are all compact mirrors. Um, really, really pretty though. All of them have like a um, brain smell on again. I'm so sorry. Uh, stained glass window look. So this is one of them. I got the chalice again. I don't know what it is with the chalice. I must uh, must need the chalice in my life. Um, open like this. Uh, the mirror is actually like a magnetic mirror. Uh, it's not a magnetic mirror. It's a zoomed like in kind of looks. When you look into it, it magnifies your face a little bit. Um, very, very pretty. I also got this one. I did it twice, so I got the moon cats too. Really, really pretty. The only thing is, I'm not a huge person of just sticking things on the shelf and staring at them forever. Um, the wands are one thing, but these, I don't, I feel like they need to be used in some way, so I might be crafty and make them into a hair accessory or a um, bow with this, my compact mirror as like the centerpiece. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I might do that later. Who knows? So I got this Sailor Moon Gashapon. These are like um, silhouette um, of the characters. Um, it has Neo Queen Serenity, Chibi Moon, Sailor Moon, um, Sailor Moon, and uh, the Outer Sailor Outers. Um, so Uranus, uh, Mercury, and. Mercury, Uranus, Neptune, and uh, Pluto, and Saturn. Um, sorry, I'm just happy. Oof. Okay, and this is the one I got. I got Chibi Moon, which I actually don't mind. You know, it's funny, um, when I watched the original 90s um, Sailor Moon, I was not a Chibi Moon fan. Um, she was kind of annoying. Uh, <laughs> but now that they've done Crystal, and they, I've liked her in the manga, I didn't like her in the anime. Now that the, the crystal's more focusing on the style and the storyline of the manga, they made Chibi Moon more of a redeemable character. character. So, um, she's growing on me. She's growing on me. Um, I also got this one. Um, again, it has the Sailor Outers, um, Sailor Moon, and um, Chibi Moon as an option for these. Um, this is also another smaller charm, and I got Chibi Moon again. Must be a sign that I should just love Sailor Chibi Moon. I have pink hair, and we keep telling me she cosplay with her, but I am Sailor Moon heart forever. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well, I don't know where that one went, but I got this one as well. I don't really catch upon if that one went, but this is that one. As a mirror on the other side, really, really pretty. It's used to be really pretty on a purse, so I might put this on my Sailor Moon purse. Um, this one was probably the crappiest of the Sailor Moon Gashapon. It's completely out of plastic. It looks better on camera than it does in real life. And it just has a little mirror inside and that's it. It's nothing really spectacly gorgeous about, um, but to the moon. So I will love it anyways. All right, moving on to things that are not Sailor Moon. Um, I am going to show you, I am a huge... Uh, Lum fan. Um, it, Lum, the anime is uh, the creator who made uh, Rama One Half and Inuyasha. So I love the artist. Um, and here is the Gashapon setup tag for that one. I got the cat on the bottom, and I actually got Lum. So Lum was the one I was going for. So this is the one I'm not a huge fan of the Gashapon that are built for this, but they're they're cup sitters. Like you sit in your cup. I don't really know why in your cup but here is Lum she's really really cute um, I really really like her hair color and everything too and if I someday get confident enough to run around in a bathing suit for cosplay I will cosplay as Lum someday but that's a lot of skin to be showing so not sure about that I also got a cat from that same one he's so cute alright and speaking 
speaking of Ranma one half, I did find a Ranma one half Gashapon. I wouldn't have mind getting any of them actually. I like all the characters. Um, so I actually got the dad, grandpa, dad, panda. <laughs> his sign is so twisted. My husband was laughing at his sign. Um, but yes, yeah, so I got him. Really, really cute. Uh, who else did I get? Oh, so I've been watching um, My Hero Academia or uh, My Hero Academia. I like Academia better. Ooh, people pronounce it both ways. Um, but I got Nagashi Pond for that. I only found two in Japan for it. My husband got both, but I only was curious about the cute little bobblehead chibi ones. So I got one of those. And I got the one I wanted. Uh, I like this. The anime is really good. If you get a chance to see it, good, good, good. Um, and I mentioned this before, I'm going to get into this series. Um, I got again the, um, oh, brain. Pretty Cure? <laughs> I got Pretty Cure, um, Purika. So I actually got the pink haired one who I think I'm going to like this character a lot because I like her character designs. So I got her. She's really cute, very detailed. Oh, the horrible. And then I also got, I don't know where the tag for that one went, but um, I got another Pretty Cure, cure um, Gashapon with that one, a different one, so I um, no idea what this is, but it's cute. <laughs> um, then, 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 and then I, got, I, found, I finally found a card cap Sakura Gashapon. Believe it or not, there wasn't a lot of card cap Sakura, like, stuff in Japan, even though it's rumored that they're going to have a Card Cap Square series next year. I found a poster for it too, I'll show sometime, <laughs> just not right now that I'm with me. But um, people are rumoring that it's either a reboot or a continuation of Card Cap Square when she's older, so we'll see. But this is the Gashapon I got from that one. Um, super cute, Sakura in the Sakura. <laughs> um, really, really cute, and I don't have... Um, a little Gashapon guide for this one too. Um, this one was Akihabara. It was like in some random side street and it's this really really cute acrylic of um, Sakura. So adorable. Um, is that this? Oh this isn't a Gashapon but I got this in Akihabara information store and they had some really cute things there and I got Castle in the Sky or Lapita pen. Really really cute. I wouldn't have mind getting any of them. Love it. Um, and then I have one more bag of stuff that I'll show you, and that will be it. <laughs> one more Gashapon. So I got this um, Gashapon. I believe this is the same artist from Mama and Half and Lum, um, in Yasha. But I need to look into it. I have never seen her translated, but um, this is not in color. It's not helping my vision here at all. But she has really cute pastel hair and like a magical girl wand and outfit and um, all pastel. Really, really cute. I got this one from that Gashapon. Really, really cute. Look at see it even rotates the little heart. So cute. Um, this is actually the one I wanted from that little kit. So it's another anime I need to check out. Um, really, really cute. I've seen her at Manzrake too. So and it, again, looks like an older anime. So I just need to look into that one too. Okay, and the last bag of things, which I guess see the best for last. <laughs> is the Studio Ghibli um, Museum in Mitaka. So, um, funny story about this, not funny haha, -ha, funny as in I had no idea. Um, apparently, tickets to going to this museum is very difficult, um, even for people who live in Japan. So, I'm very thankful we got to go. Um, when we were trying to get the tickets, um, you have to book them a month in advance, if not two months in advance. Um, it was like Comic-Con, <laughs> sit in front of your computer, big, and pray at the screen hoping that you'll be able to get in. I got booted out three times before I was able to get the tickets, so it was a pain to get the tickets. But I am very thankful we were able to go. We did have a full experience. If you wanted to see um, Studio Ghibli through my eyes and my husband's eyes, you can click on the video right here. Um, it has a video of all the things you can video when you're into the museum. Um, if you don't like spoilers, don't watch it. But <laughs> um, I 
I watched the video before I went and it helped me look for the things that I wanted to get while I was there. So personally, it was helpful to me, but that's something you can do or not do. It's up to you. Um, so first, I want to show you I got this little set here. This is about $10 or a thousand yen. It's a two book um, like set you get from the bookstore um, inside of the Studio Ghibli Museum. Um, and I'm I want to say I'm a huge Studio Ghibli Miyazaki fan. Um, love, love, love all the movies, love his work, very talented, very inspiring, love going to that museum, it changed my life, no joke. Anyway, so here's one of the books, um, this one has photographs of all the things inside of the museum and the outside of the museum, so things you can't actually photograph. Here's the book, um, it has all the images from the museum inside. Um, here is the front. This is the um, kids' room where the cat bus for the kids to play on. Really, really cute. This is on the top floor, right before you go outside to go see the Laputa um, robot in the sky. Um, this is the Totoro you see when you walk into the beginning part of the museum. And here is the entrance room where you get your tickets um, uh, validated. Um, the whole ceiling is done in a floral and it has characters hidden throughout it. So there is Kiki right there, um, the girls from Totoro, the sisters, there's Totoro. Um, is Catbus in this one? Well Catbus is on this too. But anyways, a lot of characters hidden in there. It's really, really pretty. Um, more details like the hidden Mickeys inside the museum. Um, there's stuff hidden everywhere throughout the museum. You can spend, which we did, hours looking around like a turkey with your mouth open, like, oh my god, at everything. Um, it was, again, very inspiring. Um, so they had an installation room where you could see what um, Hayao Miyazaki's workstation looked like in the process. They even had a small section in there with the colors and the paints and how the cells worked and whatnot, so that was very neat too. Um, this is the inside main room where you walk in, all the staircases go to different places um, throughout the museum. So it really is like a maze. You're given a map and they say go explore. That's what, what they tell you when you walk in. Which is really awesome because you're like a little kid, doesn't matter how old you are, whether you're an adult or a child running around in the museum, you get the experience of just adventuring and seeing what you can find, which is amazing. Uh, one of my favorite things was the stained glass windows, all of them were themed for the different movies. Um, this was the main first room we walk into. Um, so in this room, they had, uh, can't really see in this picture, um, <clears throat> they had uh, model puppets of what um, the characters would have looked like or moved like, but they're actual physical puppets. So this right here is a carousel, which you can't really see, of, um, and I couldn't film, this is the inside of all the Totoros in May. Um, jumping up and down, it was just amazing. Um, this was some um, filming that you could see from the movies, and then this is the Castle in the Sky robot, where he's rotating in a circle and birds are flying around. It was just, I can't even explain to you how amazing it was. Oh, here's the carousel. Um, it looks blurry because it's in motion, but um, it it's a, a model of each character moving every gesture, so when it spins around, it looks like they're being animated which they are live, so. This is the filming room. Um, one of the things you get to see when you go to the museum is um, they have short films that are only able to see at the museum. No filming, you cannot like take pictures of it, or no video it, you'll get kicked out if you do. Um, and they have a bunch of short films. One of them we got to see, the one we got to see was um, the newest one. It's about a um, spider, a water spider, and a, um, fly got glider or the, the, you know, the, the, the flies that sit on the top of the water and their little legs stick out. It's about um, them falling in love and dancing into, with each other on the water. It was really cute. Um, adorable story. I'm sure you can read a little bit about it on the website. Oh, it's here too. <laughs> so these are all the short stories. Um, these are the options. Um, story about some kids, um, puppy, um, the baby cat bus story. We really wanted to see that. Um, and then this one's kind of like Pippi Longstocking, and this is rumored to be a story about um, Howl, young Howl before he became powerful. Um, this is the one we saw. This one's about like sumo wrestler 
mice and then this is an egg princess and then this is about a story about a friend um he's a rabbit and a little boy becoming friends um so all the stories are different oh it's mom mom the water spider that's what we saw here's some of the um places you could go this was the a shop you can go to buy your stationery and cute things. This is the bookstore where we bought where we bought a lot of this book. <laughs> For example, this is the Straw Hat Cafe that's outside, and this is more things outside. Um, I'm not gonna go through the entire book because that's gonna be crazy. But here's some more pictures, and that book is amazing. And the other one, um, this is actually concept art that Studio um, Ghibli Hayao Miyazaki drew of what he wanted the museum experience to be like. So this is his first concept art. There's some stuff in here that actually didn't get to be translated into the museum. I'm trying to find that page. Oh, this one, the main courtroom where you have a little staircase and stuff, it was supposed to have a drawing of the forest spirit on the wall, which didn't wasn't there when I saw it, but that would have been cool to see. So um, <laughs> the cat bus. Um, really cute. Nice. <laughs> anyway, so this was a really, oh, here's the Straw Hat Cafe. So, um, and they originally did a watercolor, like all Miyazaki's beautiful work. I'm a huge watercolor fan on top of me, a Copic artist. Um, so that was really cool to see everything, all the possibilities. So this was a two book set again, and you also got a poster. Um, the poster I'm dropping things. I put in this box, I actually made this box for the trip um, because I didn't want it to be crushed in my luggage and it actually worked out pretty well, yay me, for crafting so quickly. I found this um, piece of cardboard outside and I bent it into shape so it can hold the poster. So the poster is right here and it held up really well for the trip. I'm not going to take it out because I have a smaller poster version of it and I don't want to unroll it and then re-roll it again, but I'll show it to you the little version of that momentarily. So um, the next thing I want to show you is, um, like I said before, I, we did do the whole experience, we ate at the Straw Hat Cafe outside, there was a long wait, but it was worth it, the food there was amazing, just, I don't know, the whole experience, <laughs> it was nice, as the one day I definitely splurged on everything, so um, worth it though, worth it. <laughs> um, so the first thing I wanted to show you is um, these little flags, um, I have a Totoro and a Gigi one, um, these came in our food. Um, I believe this one came in my strawberry cake I ate, and then this one came in my own rice that I ate. Um, they actually sell these flags, um, I think there's four, three designs um, separately, but I, you know, just washed off the bottom and kept the flags. I'm definitely going to keep these because <laughs> I love them. I'm going to frame them with our tickets, um, so that's cool. I know this is also really dorky, but I kept the little napkin of the Straw Hat Cafe that came, um, you know, you eat with your meal and don't know what I'll do with that, but I'll keep it. Here is the map. This is the map you get when you first go into the museum. Um, I like the little crest um, for the museum, which is really, really cute. I probably should just show you this in the beginning, but I got too excited, sorry. Um, so you open it up, tells you the rules, don't take pictures, all that good stuff. Um, what to look for, a breakdown of the room, and then this picture right here of, um, Hayao Miyazaki's uh, watercolor drawing of what the museum looks like and what it holds is that poster that I showed you um, before. Um, so this is like a smaller version. But as some of my friends and family knows, um, my entire kitchen is Totoro themed. So our, um, yeah, it's going to go in there. <laughs> so I'm going to frame that and put it in there. Um, this is also a further breakdown of everything to look for, what, what the signs mean. Um, I, my favorite part was... Um, the ladies and gentlemen sign they had different hats like for the characters it's like Patsu's hat and that's like Sophie's hat from Howl I just thought that was adorable um, so things I'm gonna tell you what to see is the Toto Totoro reception room that's where you see the big Totoro the special exhibit rooms so that one's special it changes out all the time um, again if you don't want any spoilers don't listen to this part of the video <laughs> um, the special exhibit room this time when we went was actually an adult version of the cat bus room. So the cat bus room is for the kids um, to play on, but they made an adult size for this pop-up um, special exhibit. So the adult size one fit, and I will tell you when we went into the room, 
the little bus, it had like 40 people in it. <laughs> and they were all loafed around on cat bus, sinking into the seats, acting like it was magic, like it was, was it was. I literally sat into the seat and I felt like butter magic when I sat my butt down. And it was amazing. Um, and on the outside of the bus, a cat bus's face is super cute. And um, there was a like an associate there and she's like, you can pet him um, and hug him. So I rubbed his nose, which is super soft, and I face planted him and I'm like, I love you. <laughs> so did that. That was amazing. Um, fun, fun, fun experience. Um, also in that room, the special exhibit room, they had a big, um, not life size, but bigger than like Barbie size, um, installation of Howl's, um, castle. So Howl's Moving Castle, the big robotic mouth, uh, leggy thing with all the weird buildings attached to it was there for you to physically see. Um, and it was taller than me, went to the ceiling, and you could look through the portals inside the rooms and see the detailed rooms that are made for the special exhibit room. Also in the exhibit room, they had, um, like, in inspiration, like, cells and drawings of all the sky pirate ships that are seen in all of Miyazaki's movies, um, like Pokoroso and um, Lapita and um, Howl, for an example. Um, you know, uh, Hayao Miyazaki is a big fan of sky pirate ships and whatnot. Um, and yeah, anyway, so all the, they had a lot of drawings in there of his inspiration drawings and whatnot, and some other side ch children's stories. And I was not familiar with them, so I can't tell you, but it was really cute. Really cute special room. Anyways, back to what I was doing. <laughs> what else? They had the screening room, which I showed you before. They had the information center, which that day I <laughs> felt really cute. Um, I made my own um, studio Ghibli Totoro themed dress. I'll put a picture here. Um, for me to wear that day and I did special sip sprite makeup and I got so many compliments from other guests and people that work there about my outfit. I am so thankful. <laughs> I felt so cute. Anyways, um, that was a lot of fun. Um, anyways, so the information desk made me think of it because one lady in particular just smiled every time she saw me and wanted to talk to me so that was really cute. There's also the castle and the sky robot on the very top of the building. The reading room, our Trihawks room, that's the the big a bookstore. And in the bookstore they actually had like books that you could not, you can't find on the market. You cannot buy it on eBay, you cannot buy it on Amazon, you cannot buy it any store. Just there. Um, and it's some of um, Miyazaki's early drawings for stories that were never completed, like movies or series that he was planning on doing. Um, inspirational drawings, concept art, um, that bookstore was amazing. I could just live there, honestly. Um, anyways, <laughs> the other one um, is the museum shop, which is the Momo um, Aito shop, and that's the one with this guy on it. Um, really well known for the Lapita Sky Pirate, like, brothers. <laughs> um, he's the logo for that. Um, and then, uh, the permanent exhibit room, which is where a film is born. That's the room with all the moving animated things I was telling you about. Um, the cafe deck, and then the Straw Hat Cafe. So, really cute. Oh, also outside on the cafe deck, you can get ice cream and soda out there. So, we did do that. That'll be in the video. But, um, yes. That was awesome. And so like I said for our tickets I wanted to frame, the reason why is you get a exclusive film strip um, as your ticket. Um, in the back it says how much you paid for your ticket, ticket and then that stamp right there they put on there saying that they was validated. So in Japan it is a thousand yen to go to the store, I mean to go to this museum, which is only like $10 when you think about it, but at the time when we purchased it, um, it was $8 for American money. Yeah, stupid expensive, but again, they only let like 100 people in a day. Um, so, and they only let tickets out a month of before and you cannot buy tickets there. They cannot expect to go to Japan and just walk up to the museum like, I want to go today. No, you had to plan it like months ahead of time. So, anyway, so the film strips we got, mine I think is from Lupin the Third. And my husband's is from um, Howl's Moving Castle. His um, particular scene is when uh, Sophie, with her hair cut off, who looks young again, is hugging the, the older witch who's um, falling apart and everything. So these are our film strips. I'm definitely going to 
frame these because that's just amazing. So yes, I'm putting this away now so I don't get damaged. Well, one of the first things I'm gonna show you um, out of the like gift bags we got is stuff from my husband actually bought. This is his gift bag. I happen to have it in the stuff, so I'm gonna show you. Um, so he got this sticker um, of the sigil seal that was designed for the museum. I also got the sticker too. Um, I just really like it. The design for it's really, really cool. Um, he also got this version of it too. I did not get that one. Um, he got the Castle in the Sky robot postcard. Um, let's see, let's see. He also got the Castle in the Sky robot um, enamel pin. And then he also got this really cute bat guy um, enamel pin too. So this bat guy was seen all over the museum. He just loved the design for this character. I believe he was in the opening scene for Totoro where they're um, singing and all the characters uh, are doodling and dancing and this little bat guy appears and he was seen all over the museum. I, I've never seen him before so that's really cool. <laughs> but um, yes, that's his stuff that he got from the, the actual like gift shop. And then we see mine. Oh, so this is something we bought from the bookstore together. We're both artists. Um, so we love inspiration and we love art books. So we purchased this together. This is actually only $6 or 600 yen. Um, so this book is a Castle in the Sky um, book with all inspiration drawings. Particularly it has the opening scene um, drawings in the beginning of the movie were really, really detailed. And my husband and I are also Sky Pirate fans um, in like Sky Pirate ships and whatnot. So this book has like a breakdown of that from the movie. Really cool. So this book was really neat. We're definitely going to add that to our inspiration book, art book collection section of our house, <laughs> which is kind of large. <laughs> Um, so this one's mine, you can tell it's so thick. Um, I bought a lot of little stuff here and there. Alright. So i first going to show you this one. So um, I sew, I'm a seamstress, I do cosplay and all that stuff. So I really appreciate things like this. Um, and they do have this kind of stuff everywhere, but this one's just so detailed. I got this little hand towel. Um, that has all the embroider work um, from a lot of characters um, from the Studio Ghibli series. Every little thing. There's soot sprites on it. Lapita, Totoro. I just really like it. Honestly, I'm not gonna use it as a towel. I'm gonna frame it and put it in my kitchen with my Totoro theme. I know it sounds dumb, but I'm gonna do it. Um, I got. I'm a big um, Kiki Kiki Delivery Service fan, so I got this enamel pin. Actually, this one's a brat. Um, bronze, oh gosh, oxidized bronze coppery pin. Um, so this is the bread version of Kiki from the movie. I just love this. This was only 600 yen, not bad at all. Bought in America, it'd be like $20. Um, this one is another one. This is the one of when um, Kiki gets her own little sign outside of her door um, that Tombo builds for her. And then um, this is the Baron from um, Whisper of the Heart. I am a huge Baron fan. Um, my husband and I saw a full figured Baron and then his significant other. Um, statues, they're expensive, but one day we're gonna save up and get them because they're just so cool. Um, again, I said I got the same stickers as him, and then I got this one too. And then I got a few other stuff I'll show you in a moment. So this is also one of my husband's um, bags of goodies. Um, he got this from the bookstore too. He got a postcard of the Sky Pirate ship from uh, Lacta. Um, it's a really cool postcard, and it even has like a little sigil in the corner, which is really neat. And then he also got this little ghost guy. Um, he's really cute. It also has the bat dudes on the back side of this, so he and him and I are actually big, um, like Halloween fans, so that was really cool. I have no idea what the inspiration for this from is, but it's really cool. So he got that, and then this one I believe is mine. It's my last bag, I think. Hey, get out of there. Alright. So um, this one is a long postcard of the outside of the museum. 
I just thought it was really cool. It'd be really cool to frame this for my kitchen again. And then because, like I said before, that special exhibit room with the life-size uh, cat bus for all the adults to sit on, um, they do like promotional posters for it and this is the promotional poster for that exhibit. Um, it is available online to look at the museum, um, but I just really wanted a postcard of it because we got to do this, so it's really cool. Um, I just like all the little details, little cat bus creeping in the window and it's just so cute. Um, love it. So I have one more thing and it's not actually from the Studio Ghibli Museum. I actually got it from a gift shop right outside of it in the Studio Ghibli Museum, or sorry, Ghibli Museum. Ghibli, Ghibli, I'm not sure what, what the proper way to say it. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Um, we saw a small shop outside. It's in Mitaka. This the town is called Mitaka. Mitaka. Um, this is my thing I got. It's a little um, Gigi necklace. So, again, huge uh, Kiki Delivery Service, Delivery Service fan. One more thing. Um, something you have to take back from Japan, you definitely have to do, is go to a Purikura machine, which is a photo booth, real, really cute stickers and cuteness. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I want to show you our Purikura. We did three. Um, the first one we did was on our Studio Ghibli uh, Museum Day and Mitaka, and this is it. We did a 80s Barbie themed one. This is our second uh, Purikura. This was on our Harajuku day. Um, this is it. And the last one we did was on our last day of Japan, which again, we like the Barbie 80s machine which shows different options this time in uh, Shibuya. And there you go. Anyways, um, yeah, if you are looking for a Purikura machine, try to look up one ahead of time. Um, just look for a Purikura like, mega um, store. They even have signs everywhere usually for them. Just look, look up. Um, there's signs like a side, signs vertical, horizontal. Um, and if it's a big arcade, they usually will have like a small, like a floor dedicated just to Purikura. But yeah, do the Purikura. It's a lot of fun. And I believe that's everything that we brought back from Japan, but I could be wrong. <laughs> um, again, we bought a lot of things. Um, things we've already gifted other people already, things that we already put somewhere else. I apologize that's not everything and you might see in a vlog and I didn't put it here. I'm so sorry about that. But um, this experience going to Japan was a dream. Um, I've been wanting to go to Japan since I was six years old. Um, I was, I am not the richest person and neither is my husband. Um, I did get a lot of small things here and everything was on a budget. Um, I did, I, some, some people were kind enough to gift me money for my birthday early enough to give me money to go to Japan and do this, so I am so thankful, um, and I'm so thankful to my husband for finding the tickets to even go, and, um, it was just amazing. <laughs> and you can see that in my vlog, like, how magical it was, I definitely want to go back, um, the people I met there, particularly our Airbnb host, our main one, Miss Akiko, it was such a heartwarming, wonderful experience, and it changed my life. So, anyways, only good things could come happen from here. Um, very thankful, little things I got, um, and it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about um, possibilities and more dreams and more things to strive for in life. Um, a lot of things are different here in America where I live in California than it is in Japan and different, not bad, not good. It was just a very different experience than what I'm used to and one thing I definitely want to take back from Japan is uh, the heartwarming uh, inspiration people have for each other, the kind of you can do it attitude. and. Um, for me, it's been hard to feel that way and keep hold on to it. Um, a lot of people, at least I'm around lately, are very negative. And I personally have been struggling with a lot of health problems. And 
I got sick for a while. That's way too much information to go into, but um, I am so thankful for this experience. Japan was so much fun. Um, I do suggest going, especially if you appreciate the culture like I do. Um, my husband and I are huge um, fans of the culture and the food and the art and the people that are from that country. And it was just a really good experience. I hope we can go back again. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching my haul video from Japan. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I really hope you check out my vlogs. I try my best to um, do every single day and show you the magic of Japan through our eyes. And um, I'm going to do a separate video for Sailor Moon things, um, things I bought, things I saw. So um, look at that video too. And I hope to see you soon. And thanks for watching. Have a magical day. Bye.